okay students in the previous video uh, discussed we discussed about atmosphere and its different layers so today we'll be discussing about greenhouse effect in this particular video okay so we'll try to understand the meaning and concept of greenhouse effect today first before that we'll try to understand what is greenhouse a greenhouse is a house which is made out of glass and we know that the glass has a property of absorbing the heat and after absorbing the heat it does not allow the heat to pass through it so due to which it maintains the heat within the glass itself within the house this type of houses are made in the temperate region where the solar rays are less vertical okay to grow tropical crops especially tro tropical plants okay these are some of the images that shows how uh, plants are grown in a greenhouse okay a house made out of glass and how the heat is absorbed by the this glass house okay basically this as i already mentioned this type of house are made in those areas where the solar rays are less verticals especially in the temperate regions or in the polar areas okay now we'll try and understand the uh, concept of greenhouse effect in larger scale okay now the same uh, earth is covered by the atmospheric layer and this atmospheric layer is acting as a greenhouse uh, acting as a greenhouse okay there are some gases in the atmosphere like carbon dioxide methane and ozone which act as a greenhouse which are, which are called as greenhouse gases and they traps the solar rays and does not allow the solar rays to percolate back to the space due to which the heat of the earth is maintained so this is how the global greenhouse effect takes place now we'll try and understand what are the causes of greenhouse effect okay basically greenhouse effect is caused due to some gases present in the atmosphere like cfc chlorofluorocarbon nitrous oxide ozone and water vapor uh, in the air so these are some of the important greenhouse gases due to which greenhouse effect take places apart from that some uh, these gases are emitted from the sources like vehicular emission burning fossil fuel to produce electricity then growing crops like rice and the presence of wetland which also increase increases methane level then cfc production uh, which is the byproduct of human activities due to industrialization and destroy of ozone causing it to become thinner okay and lastly we have uh, lastly we have cutting down of forest or burning of forest uh, to clear land for cultivations or for settlements for the growth of settlements etc okay now we'll try and understand the concept of global warming now what is global warming so global warming can be defined as increase in the temperature of the earth due to an increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere so if the amount of greenhouse gases or the percentage of greenhouse gases increases in the atmosphere then the the global temperature will also rise okay or we can say it is a gradual increase in the temperature of the earth due to increase in greenhouse gases okay so the balance between the heat received from the sun and that given out by the earth was maintained by nature for thousands of years however scientists have found that the mean temperature has started increasing over last 150 years if this is not controlled then serious consequences can affect biotic and abiotic components of the earth in the upcoming years so it is very important uh, concept that we need to understand about it okay now we'll discuss about the causes of global warming now global warming is basically caused due to ozone depletion greenhouse gases deforestation and burning of fossil fuel okay now we'll discuss about it one by one first starting with ozone depletion so before we understand the concept of ozone depletion we'll try to understand what is ozone now ozone is a bluish gas which is a special form of oxygen which contains three atoms of oxygen uh, 
it is formed when the oxygen molecules in the atmosphere are broken up by the uv rays that is ultraviolet rays coming from the sun surface generally this layer or the ozone layer is found at the height of 12 to 50 km above the ground that is above the surface of the earth and the ozone layer in the upper air provide us a safety layer we can say from the harmful uv rays from the sun now scientists have depicted or de uh, detected the absence of ozone in the area over and near the antarctica so with the passes of time this uh, hole seems to be increasing so this depletion in ozone or ozone hole is due to human activities which is release of harmful gases and cfc that is chlorofluorocarbon now the greenhouse gases so technological development and other human activities are contributing towards growing emission of greenhouse gases cfcs that is chlorofluorocarbon that are used in aerosols refrigerators and air conditioners are the cheap agents which lead to ozone depletion so when these machines are machines are destroyed and discarded the cfc gases they contain escapes and enter the atmosphere so when the cfc gas reaches the ozone layer the uv that is ultraviolet rays break them and release a chlorine atom which is responsible for the discardation or destruction of the ozone and resulting into global warming Okay, these are some of the important greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, fluorinated gases. Apart from this, water vapor is also an example. Okay, the next topic is deforestation. So trees play a very important role in carbon cycle. They maintain the balance in the atmosphere uh, environment by converting CO2 in the air to oxygen through the process of photosynthesis. Thus, they act as a natural regulator of the carbon dioxide. The more the trees, the less carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and the more oxygen. So, deforestation is causing the number of trees to fall and resulting carbon level in the atmosphere are rising thereby causing global warming. Now, the last important cause of global warming is burning of fossil fuel. Now, fossil fuels such as oil, coal, natural gas are high in carbon and when burned produce major amount of carbon dioxide or co2 which is an important uh, greenhouse gases in the atmosphere so therefore this gases burning of these gases will also re result into global warming directly or indirectly